Well, hello and welcome to this exercise sent to me by one of my subscribers in which we try to find the vertex form of the expression 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. Now, firstly, I copy down the expression and then I divide every term by 4. So now I have uh, 4 into x squared minus 4 minus 3x plus 9 over 4. Now, you need to make sure that you've got the correct uh, pairs of parentheses or brackets there. Okay. Now, what I then do is to try and do uh, completing of squares now, in which I try to uh, use this complete the squares for this section here. Now, to do that, I look for the um, square root of s squared over 4, and that will give me x over 2, minus half the coefficient of x. And the coefficient of x is 3, so half of 3 will be 3 over 2. And the square all of that. Now, when you open up this bracket here, x minus 2 minus 3 over 2 all squared, you end up with an extra 9 over 4, which does not exist there. So we need to subtract 9 over 4 to create this balance there. Okay, hope I'm making sense. And of course, in this instance here, uh, minus 9 over 4 plus 9 over 4 will give us a 0. So we end up with the vertex form being 4 into x over 2 minus 3 over 2 all squared plus 0. Okay. Now, the, the turning point, of, sorry, or the, 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 the vertex of this parabola uh, has got um, the x coordinate of 3 over 2 and the y coordinate of 0. Yeah? So you end up with, if you sketch this graph, you end up with something like this one here. And the vertex is going to be there. Okay? And that will be your x-axis and the y-axis there. So, excuse me, drawing. Right? Now, you can do you can carry out this exercise in a different format if you wish. Now where h in this case is the x coordinate at the vertex and k is the y coordinate at the, at the vertex there. Now in this instance b is the quotient of x. Now this is going to be minus 12x and not just 12. And a is the coefficient of x squared. A there. And k will give us the y coordinate at the vertex. Okay? So, now, we then do h is equal to negative negative 12 or minus minus 12 divided by 2 times 4. So which gives us that the, the x coordinate at the vertex is 3 over 2. Now we need to substitute this 3 over 2, hence f of h there, into this expression here. So you replace x by 3 over 2. So now we end up with 4 into 3 over 2 all squared minus 12 times 3 over 2 plus 9. Now we end up with 9 minus 18 plus 9, and that gives us 0. So the k value is 0, which means that at the, at the, at the vertex, in this case the turning point, the y coordinate is 0. Okay. 
Now, the coordinate of vertex x is 3 over 2, 0. So the vertex form will be 4 into x over 2 minus 3 over 2 all squared plus 0. So that now will be the vertex form of this expression. Now, I hope all that made some sense and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye-bye now. Bye-bye.